what's up bro my beautiful girl lady i'm back with another video what's up y'all decided to do a very different video as you can see it's a voiceover video i'm so excited i've never done a video like this before so hopefully it'll go well i just decided to vlog on this sunday i had just come back from home decided to vlog i don't know why but i was feeling a little bit down on this day i don't know why i actually know why but i was feeling a little bit down so i did decide to vlog sometimes i do really enjoy vlogging when i'm feeling down it does sometimes uplift my mood a little so yeah i decided to vlog i needed to get a few things from checker 60 so um i did oh sana used my last cent kesana now i'm broke <laughs> being a student guys but yeah um i'm just unboxing my stuff um i already like cleaned my place before like going back home so that I could come back to a clean space and i'm glad i did that because yeah my mood was just down and i wouldn't have wanted to clean when my mood was down so yeah, I just packed my stuff, my stuff, where they belong, and yeah. It's not what I say, it's what I'm doing, and how I'm doing it. Without faith, it's impossible to please him, but faith without works is dead. So teach me to love like you do, teach me I trust. If you have been watching my videos from back then when I was in high school, you'll remember this whiteboard. I used to use it a lot for planning my days. So I came back with it um, uh, from back home because I have been struggling with being productive these days. So I remember how it used to help me in the trick and in high school. So I came back with it. You know, a little progress each day adds up to big results. So I'm hoping that it will keep me productive as it used to Oh my this has become my girl dinner if you know me you know that i used to hate noodles i never used to buy noodles i never used to eat noodles i just didn't like noodles i don't know what happened this year but i eat noodles now i'm so proud of myself because they're so affordable i'm able to save money a bit a bit but yeah this has become my girl dinner if you struggle with constipation or slow metabolism this tea amazing i saw it from k arms shout out to an icon <laughs> it helps treat constipation it also helps with cleansing of the colon and yeah it just elevates constipation so yeah that is why i was um having a cup of that tea at the time yeah <laughs> i've been learning to choose wisely what i feed my mind because my mind or your mind adapts to what you consume and what you feed yourself today is what you become tomorrow so i've been watching a lot of productive videos study videos just just to give myself 
to do the same because that's what i want to do i just need some motivation sometimes you need some motivation to see it from others and just to get yourself going shout out to my girl palissa for getting me food she's been wanting to get me food for a while first wanting to take me out on a date and then wanting to buy me food she finally got to buy me food thank you so so much appreciate it my girl <laughs> always pay attention to who is present and genuinely involved in your life during hard times good times just always pay attention because not everyone moves with love and genuine intentions especially during the times that we live in it's rare to find individuals who will love you without conditions who will really be there without pretension and help you without any entitlement so pay attention Oh my i have not been going to the gym for the longest for months i have not been going to the gym but i have found that um putting out gym clothes the night before going to the gym helps quite a bit because then i do not have to wake up and look for gym clothes they're already ready for me just have to make my bed and get dressed and go to the gym I have learned the hard way that no matter how good you are to people, it doesn't guarantee that they will do the same to you. They'll be good to you. I've just learned the hard way to never sacrifice my peace. <laughs> I've learned the hard way that access to me should be a privilege. And you should do the same. It should not make you feel arrogant feel selfish for simply just putting boundaries in place to protect your energy support your energy just be at a point in your life where you do not have any energy for anything that doesn't light you up that doesn't bring you any happiness that doesn't bring you any peace it does not make you arrogant it just simply makes you cautious and full of purpose and intention like allow yourself to be focused on living in peace and walking in your purpose without um, worrying about what people will think just focus on your own validation you know it's okay it's okay to not worry about pleasing people people pleasing is also something i've struggled with it's okay to not worry about people pleasing it's okay to be different it's okay to be you just believe in yourself you don't need you don't always need that validation from other people you know self-love is very very important and without that um you might struggle to have or find the strength to carry on and be able to pick yourself up um, when um, things are tough you know um, Philippians 4 verse 13 says that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me um, I personally I have been struggling um, with my spiritual journey this year i have not been reading the bible as often as i should i haven't been praying as often as i should and we are honest on this channel i won't come up here and tell you how i read the bible every day i am not perfect i have not been reading the bible i have been feeling very guilty though um it's not nice you end up feeling 
empty you end up feeling having this void that i cannot explain um god is real guys god is real without him i feel this emptiness that i cannot explain i that i think that is one of the reasons why i have not been okay i have not been praying as often as i should i have not been reading the bible as often as i should and i just believe that god god gives his people strength he blesses his people with peace you just have to be humble you just have to keep seeking him especially if you are in a season of waiting a waiting season keep seeking him um keep be humble and yeah we'll move with faith move with faith move with light <laughs> um yeah so i i i am trying to be able to at least read the bible every evening and be able to pray um yeah i hope you guys um if you are struggling with the same thing i hope this will give you motivation to also do the same pick up that bible today pick up that bible right now um don't feel shy don't um god loves you you know um yeah <laughs> open code so today be reminded that in your pain god is doing something you might not understand it now but continue to trust in him to obey his will and worship him god wouldn't allow anything unless it has a purpose close quote i hope that will give you hope in any situation that you might be in um i hope it gives you hope and don't lose hope god has a plan great things are coming all I'm asking is that you would come and put some living water in my cup, yeah, 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 yeah. Saying, Holy Spirit, fill me up, up, cause I had enough. Holy Spirit, fill me up, 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 up. Holy Spirit, fill me up, cause I had enough. Holy Spirit, fill me up. And my cup run is over, many times you tell me over oh, and over. You've been teaching me about true faith, now I'm trying to get a new one. Yeah, yeah, but I really don't even just myself. All I want is to get closer to you. And many times I have problems understanding your glory. But how can I have faith in you and at the same time worry? Yeah, but I need you now. I ended off my evening with um, a new series that I've been watching and yeah I felt really good after reading the Bible worshiping and praying was able to tick off some things off my to-do list and yes man I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really enjoyed it I will do more of these videos and yeah i hope you really enjoyed it thank you for watching um.